Hey guys, Stream Gamer Dead here. Just want to bring back another Division 2 build video. This time it's going to be a healer build for PvP. I really think this needs to be out there. A lot of people don't know how to make a proper PvP healer build. They're always running the BTSU gloves on it, which I find useless unless you run the raid. Everyone mistakes the raid healer build for a PvP healer build and they think they both work. They don't. It doesn't work that way. But I wanted to bring it to you guys. Hope you guys like it. Let's get started. So, for the specialist, I'm running a tactician. You can run two different specialists. I'm running a tactician because it gives you the heals and then um, gives you the extra skill tier so you can run more armor. You could run survivalist, which I have that version as well. You could run survivalist, which is right here. And you can actually be a healer slash CC at the same time, which is actually really helpful if you want to play that way. Me, um, if we're close together, I don't have time to stop throw a grenade out but I run both of them try them out they work but with survivalist you have fire nades you can throw fire nades out puts the enemies on fire and then because you have survivalist because um, the perk on it let's see where it is group members get 10% bonus damage to targets with status status effects so when you put the enemies on fire with the fire nades your teammates do more damage as well so you could run that with the fire nades and do it like that. You also have the med kits. So say you're in the back and your teammates are pushing. They're going, uh, they're losing their armor quick. You hit a med kit. You heal yourself along with them as long as they're close to you. So survivalist is definitely a good option. Me, I run, I run my tactician more, but you could do it either way. But uh, let's get into the build. All right, so I'm weapons really don't matter because you're not going to be stopping and shooting. But I, uh, I I troll a little bit. I run the snowball gun and then the Scorpio, just to be stupid. But I do run the pistol, so I run around with the pistol a lot because it gives you the skill tier. It's the named one, the TDI card custom, gives you the extra skill tier. So you're when if you're uh, say like a tier five and you run around with the pistol, it'll bring you up to a tier six. So it's pretty good. But I do reformation, so I get a couple headshots, keep running, a couple headshots, keep running it'll uh, increase my heals so in turn helping the teammates out so it's pretty cool to run that way but um, for the build you always want to run the four piece future initiative because of how it works with just the four piece with a uh, ground control increase you and your allies total weapon damage and skill damage by 15 percent when at full armor when you repair an ally you and all allies within five meters of you are also repaired for 16 percent of that amount which is godly that's 60 percent sorry 60 percent that 60 percent is godly when you guys are all grouped around each other they're not only getting heals from the charges themselves but also from the guy next to them so it's so it's great you also run around the backpack every healer should have this backpack should not be running a safeguard because you're getting hit you're not always at full armor depending on the situation the backpack increases at 60 percent to 120 percent which is insane insane you definitely want to run the backpack with it it's really good. So the four piece future is what you always want to run. I run mine, the mask, backpack, gloves, and knee pads. You can do differently. You can do uh, mask, backpack, knee pads, holster, and then run whatever gloves you want. But um, I do the four piece and then I do the Alps chest piece with Empathic Resolve. You always want Empathic Resolve. It gives you that extra damage. A lot of people run the chest piece for future, which increases the total uh, weapon damage from the four piece from 15 percent to 25 but if you do the math empathic resolves gives you 30 percent total including the four piece future and then if you run the four piece future with a chest piece and backpack that only gives you 25 percent altogether so the empathic resolve is a lot better but you always want to have one alps piece on the build as well because the alps is 20 percent skill repair there's no second piece to run to give skill repair or anything so I run an uh, improvised piece and then I put an extra repair skill mod on there. The improvised pieces always come with an extra mod slot which is awesome so I run the improvised holster skill repair on there and then an extra skill repair mod and then you could put hazard protection like I do or you could put status effects and run survivalist and then um, your fire nades keep your enemy out fire longer you could do it like that but I do hazard protection just in case I'm foamed 20% on the build really ain't gonna matter but it's it's something you could run skill haste there it's up to you but I do like that but you do want to run the four piece you always want to run the four piece it's it's 
there's no other way to run your healer. You're not going to get as much heals from any other build besides around the four-piece future. So make sure you do run that. I run the chem launcher. So when I'm running around circles, make sure I'm not getting focused. I'm dropping the chem. Double tap the button. You drop the chem at your feet. Heals you along with your enemies that's near you. It's godly. And then I run the, uh, the healer hive. The healer hive is great. It, um, it definitely heals you pretty well too. So you definitely want to do that. The mods I run on my healer hive, I run a healer or a healing mod max. I run the four repair uh, charges. And then duration, you can run duration, you can run health. I do duration so it's down longer, but you know, it's always going to either get EMP'd or you're going to destroy yourself. So it really don't matter what mod you run there. Chem launcher, I always run a plus one for an extra chem launcher um, slot because the cooldown of these chems is so nuts. It's 24 seconds, which is just a pain in the damn ass. So you definitely want to run a plus one, and then I run an extra heal mod. Still looking for a max, but 6.5 a bed. So that's going to be pretty good. But um, all together... The heals on this build are pretty damn good, especially with the backpack bonus of the 120%. Okay. Report. Here, Bubba. Yeah. yeah, you watching? Yeah. Cool, Bubba. All right, so the four piece, I do the, uh, but no, yeah, you definitely want to run the backpack, the godly backpack. But I got gameplay for you, show you the heals, show you how it does. It's definitely worth it. A lot of people run, instead of the repair skill on every piece, they run uh, the hazard protection to do like a hazard protection healer build. But if you um, replace every repair skill with a hazard, your heals are going to drop drastically. So in my opinion, if you got to get foamed to get stopped, you already won the battle. So. It's 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 up to you. You can run it whatever way you want, but I wanted to bring out a healer build to show you guys how it works. But uh, it's up to you. It's up to you. And um, you could run higher than one one. You could run one three, put a, another um, uh, armor slot on here, and then always run with a pistol and go with tier five. Tier five heals are still great. You could definitely run them that way. It's definitely worth it to do that too. It's up to you. 700k instead of 833k on the chem. I'll take all day. But uh, you can do whatever way you want. Like I do, I can put right here. Yeah. So I'll be at tier 5 while holding the pistol because my guy's holding the pistol, see? And then instead of the 833 chem launcher, it's 760. It's still great to run it that way or 1-3 healer. You can do it that way and it'll still do just fine. Like sometimes I forget I have to run with the pistol to be tier 6 on my regular build. And I'm still healing them tier 5 and it's healing them great. So it's up to you. You can try it out. But I do got a gameplay. Watch the gameplay, check it out. You'll see the heals instantly heal my guys up and survive for a uh, manhunt. So uh, just check it out. Let me know how um, you like it. Like and subscribe. I'm coming out with more builds. Hope you guys like and subscribe. Support me. I like uh, um, bringing uh, content out for you guys. So just let me know. Check it out. Peace.
Yum. GG Ganesh. GG Ganesh. Damn, bruh. <laughs>